In this video, I'm going to take you through good and decay problems as part of modeling of first order differential equation. In our previous meeting, we have already talked about how to solve first order differential equation, the other type, the Bernoulli, the parable, we have also done substitutions. So this time we are going to apply what you have learned in the first order to solve real life examples and problems. So for the growth and decay problems, we use N of T to represent amount of substance. So the amount of substance or the population, the population that is either growing or decaying. So growing or what? Decaying. So a problem may concern the decay of a material. Another problem may concern the growth of what? A material. So we use N of T to represent the amount of substance or the population either growing or decaying. Then the differential modeling here is derived from the fact that the rate of change of the amount of substance growing or decaying is always proportional to the number or to the amount present, right? So the n of t over dt is always proportional to the amount of substance present n. And once you want to remove this proportional notation, we have to introduce our constant of proportionality. So the n of t over dt will be equal to kn, right? So our differential equation will simply be dn of t over dt minus kn is equal to zero. So all goods and decaying problems are solved using this differential modeling. At this point, let's take an example and see how to solve good and decay problems. So I have a problem here. A bacterial culture is known to grow at a rate proportional to the amount present. So take this, take note of this side. A bacterial growth culture is known to grow at a rate proportional to the amount present. After one hour, thousand strands of bacteria are observed in the culture. That is after one hour. And after four hours, three thousand strands were observed. Find A. An expression for the approximate number of strands of the bacteria in the culture at any time that is a part so you are to find the approximate number of strands at any time then the B part is saying that find the approximate number of strands of the bacteria originally present originally present so now let's see how we are going to solve our problem here using differential equation and from the application i have explained above so now let's see so let me delete and get a space for our problem So let's see how we solve this problem that we have here. So kindly pay attention as we are going to start solving this problem. So let's see. We know that our differential equation modeling. So solution. So this is a group of bacteria. So we are saying that a group of bacteria So we are saying that a bacterial culture is known to grow at a rate proportional to the amount present, right? So we simply write your the n of t over what the t minus k n is equal to zero down. Right. So this is what you are going to solve to get the number of what the 
a number of strands of bacteria in the quarter at any time t. How do we solve such a differential equation? Now, when you have this, this is still parable. So you have the n of t. So always when you have growth and decay, take note, it is separable. Separable. So you have the n of t over dt will be equal to kn, right? And at this point, you separate variables. So your dt will go to this side, then it will, this one will come. So let's see. So at this point, I'm going to have my the n over what n is equal to k dt, right? So at this point, so let me delete this. At this point, I need to integrate both sides. So I have integral of the n over n is equal to integral of k dt dt, or you have dt already there. So now we can clearly see that this place, the end, so we'll have ln n. So ln of what? n is equal to, this place will give me kt, right? Because if you integrate this respect to t, this is just a constant. And at this point, n here will be equal to e to the power kt. Is that not it? So now we are having n of t to be equal to e to the power kt is that not it now forgetting my constant of integration here will be what c right so now i'm having a constant here so take note here so at this point i'm having my constant k up here here i had ln of n equals kt so after the integration i'm supposed to get a constant c here so this constant c here will be here so i'll have kt plus what c so n will be equal to e to the power kt plus what c don't forget so at this point you get e to the power kt multiplying e to the power c right so i'll get n of t to be equal to c e to the power kt right so once i get this meaning i'm almost done so what's the problem demanding the problem is saying that we should find an expression of the approximate number of strands of the bacteria in the quarter at any time so at any time so let's see this n of t equals c e to the power kt so at any time we need to find the value of our constant to find the value of the constant the problem said that he said after one hour we have thousand strands so at t equals one so at t equals one n equals what thousand then the second condition is saying that after four hours there was three thousand strands so we are going to have t is equal to for you have n equals what three thousand strands. So at this point, you make substitution. Here, when n is one, you get what n of t. So n of one is equal to c when t becomes one e to the power k, right? Then when n is four, n of four is equal to what c e to the power four k. Is that not it? And know that n of one. Is giving us what thousand so I'm going to get thousand to be equal to C e to the power T that is my first part then 3000 to be equal to C e to the power 4 K and at this point I'm going to solve this simply so how do I find this C how do I find this C so to solve for C this is my first equation and this is my equation 2 right so now what i am to do is i can find c simply here but by just making k the subject right so let's see 
I'm having this two, and I can simply get divide the two equations. Or so let's see something here. At this point, I'm going to have let me clean this side. I'm having thousand. So let me make the big bigger one go up. So I'll have three thousand over thousand right is equal to c e to the power four k over what c e to the power k right this is going to give me three is equal to this c will cancel this c and i have e to the power three k is that not it because k four k minus k will be what three k now this point i can find the value for what k how do i find the value for k i'll take ln on both sides so ln three equals what Lane of this side, so ln of what e to the power three k, and you realize at this point I'm going to get ln three is equal to here will be three k. So my k is simply ln three on three. So my k is simply equal to ln three over three, right? So once I have ln three over three to be equal to my k, so ln three over three is simply equal to zero point three six six. So ln 3 over 3, natural log of 3 over 3. So 0 0.366. So once I get 0 0.366, right, the next thing to do is, what, is to make my substitution. Is that not it? So you realize that. I have the value for k, 0.366, I can then find c using any of the equations. So taking the first equation, 1000 is equal to c e to the power k. So 1000 is equal to c e to the power k. 1000 will be equal to c multiplying e to the power 0.366. Is that not it? So at this point, I'm going to have 1000 over e to the power 0.366. And that will be equal to my heart, my C, right? So, let's see. When I divide this, this is the same as my C is equal to. So here I divided through by 0. Point, sorry, e to the power 0. 0.366. So I'm getting C to be equal to 1000 multiplying e to the power negative 0. 0.366. Is that not it? So my C is simply equal to 694. So once I get the value for my C, my first part of the equation, N of T, will be equal to 694 multiplying e to the power. Now I know my K, is that not it? So since I know my K, my K was 0 0.366. So let's see. So now I have my k to be equal to 0 0.366. So I'm substituting everything I have here. So now I'm going to have my general equation n of t to be equal to 694 e to the power 0 0.366. That was the k, right? T. And this gives me the amount of bacteria strands at any time t at any time t so the next thing you are going to consider is the b part so what is the b part saying the b part is saying that the approximate number of strands of the bacteria originally in the culture so originally in the culture so that's the b originally in the culture means that n at t equals zero so when the time equals is zero what will be the total strands of bacteria so we simply make t zero so n of zero simply equal to six nine four e to the power zero point three six six zero so zero so at this point this everything will be one so i get six hundred and ninety four strands of bacteria to be present at time t zero originally so now let me show you a recap of all that we've done so starting, we quoted our differential equation modeling, 
then we solve it by the parable we arrive at this equation so we arrive so here with kg plus c we took e to the power everything here equals n then we solve to get this at this point we were to find the value for c and k using the two initial conditions i found thousand equals this i divided and i found a value for k to be 0 0.3 this is it then i put it back in any of the equation and i found c then i made it so this is all thank you for watching the video please subscribe and you like